Hey guys, Casey Foster here from netcodeguides.com doing a demo review here for Nero on his face it scrim it looks like or pug. Um, he was talking to people I'm assuming because some of their takes are pretty good and then obviously three of them have the same uh, steam icon. So anyway, he's here on Inferno. We're starting on T side and uh he's a legendary eagle master i think i'm not sure what his elo is and in, in face it's um q but anyway he tends to work banana and halls a bit on uh his t side so obviously nero you have come to banana here and you had a decent spawn you made the right play of running straight to banana um to beat these guys here but you went under balcony now there's 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 a few drawbacks that happen to this. If you go straight under balcony and nobody's wide peaked, like none of your teammates behind you, or you are wide peaked, that dude can get behind car before you guys can see it. And you'll see what happens here. He just, you're focused on the dude at the corner because you saw him, he peeks out, and then just bangs on like three of you guys and does a bunch of damage. And then obviously they're very easily gonna win this round. So what you could have done differently, um, which you'll see in a lot of demo reviews I tell people that like to come to banana is on a pistol round just wide peak like this and just take that fight um, He's gonna hit you. You're probably gonna hit him or you know, whatever at least you're gonna find out that he's car um, If all three of you guys come this route right here and they come out That will happen to you where he's just gonna be behind car and just bangs on you very easily So when you come to banana, you know try and wide peak try and spot him right there because you guys will meet each other while he's trying to cross the car at this position here and if he's there, you know, take that fight. If you really want to keep going, you know, you can. But he put he's in a massive advantage when he gets there. And you guys actually do the same thing here the second time. You guys try and nade him out, but both of your guys' nades fail. And they just grind you guys again. So that was another part of the video that I was actually going to talk about was using your equipment. And you guys decided, yeah, let's nade the dude at car. But everybody's nades landed in front of the car. They landed right there. And he, he, took, like, he took like 30 damage total from the nades. So it really was a failed attempt. I think a flash would have been a better play um, just to flash off and just, you know, try and kill them when they're blind or obviously have a much better nade. So uh, a few things you guys could have done differently on that second round there was one flash high and, you know, spot them. Don't let them get the car or throw the proper nades. Um, the first round, you just needed a wide peek to find out if he's at car. You can't get surprised by that dude at car because it's such a dominant spot. So we're going to jump into the next round here. All right, so we're here on your guys's first gun round. You guys are in a three on three situation. You guys get the pick on the dude in the site. Three on two situation. You have about 17 hours right now at this point to rotate into a good spot, um, but you decide not to. Um, the This spot is good if somebody's watching construction. It's good if there's a smoke on construction. It's good if there's a smoke CT spawn. And you don't have to watch CT spawn and construction at the same time and banana. Um, so basically what I'm getting at here is you're in a position where you have to be aware of a whole bunch of drastically different positions at the same time. So your teammates are obviously playing very passive in sight. Looks like the dude at, at new box is really low, so he's not going to peek that. And the dude just walks up, gets a free frag on you. Now basically what happened is you have to be kind of aware to a banana flank as well as the construction flank or the the construction position as well and basically you were just you, you knew the dude flashed banana so you were trying to kind of being aware to both and you just weren't oh you didn't have your crosshair where the bad guy could be coming out of construction because you had to be aware of potential spawn as well as potential bananas so basically it's just a bad post plant spot a better post plant spot would have been going to grill um you know even going right here and just crouching and staring at that uh staring at banana and then if he comes spawn you can flick over and and you know fight him or the best place would have just been to got here and just waited for the banana the banana flank and you basically just you know straight peek out real quick and just shoot him in the side of the head and then you guys are in a three on one and you're in a great post plant position on banana basically he has to push you to kill you and then you can you know come up and shoot him as he's trying to defuse the bomb so you ultimately had a real bad post plant position losing a three on two on on b site should never happen especially with you know two people back site like they 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 made mistakes as well um obviously this is your demo review so i'm not really going to go into what they did wrong but it really shouldn't be losable if you have two people back site one here and and emo like you guys have a, they have a sick crossfire so anyway we're going to jump in the next round here 
All right, so you guys have come halls. Um, this is something you've been doing a bit, and you will continue to do a bit. Anyway, you've come to halls, and you have a, you obviously have a teammate jumping up balcony. Now, this is something that I do myself a lot. This is my position. This is what I do on Inferno. I'll come to halls and clear it out. And there's a really good way to take halls. So obviously, you're just going to peek this guy, and he gets a one shot on you, and you're dead. So just to just I just want to show you a good way to do this. Basically, you have your teammate jump up halls. And you clear his stairs and then you'll say all right stairs is clear and the reason you're gonna say that is so when he jumps in this position he's not gonna get shot by a dude on the stairs and then all he's gonna do is come out and strafe peek out and kill this guy that's that's at the bottom of stairs because it's a really easy kill from the top of stairs and then he'll come and clear your baby room like this or actually he'll do this first and then basically you guys will have a two-on-one you guys will have a two-on-one peek on this dude on halls and what we'll do is I'll say all right come double peek this dude at halls and you guys just both strafe peek out at the same time and fight this dude and basically if he kills you your teammate will get the frag or your teammate peeks out first if your teammate dies then you get the frag because he has to strafe away so it's basically an insured way that you're going to get a trade frag or at least a kill um it's very unlikely that he's going to kill both of you it's actually never happened ever since the dawn of time in counter-strike <laughs> maybe it has but i just wanted to say something funny there anyway um it's something i do pretty much every round on inferno and it's just to make sure that that guy either falls back or you get the kill or you get a trade kill um and it's 4v4 t side of any map you're in the advantage because there's one less defender on the site even though there's one less attacker they have to spread out their defense and um you're at the advantage in a 4v4 situation so anyway that that's the way that you guys should be doing that i think you guys do do it a little bit later in the game um, but there's no reason that you couldn't have done it there. All you needed to do was just wait for your teammate to just do that and or clear halls and then come back and help you peek this guy. So um, apply that to your, your future game and we're going to jump in the next round here. All right, so we're here on kind of a mixed buy for them. You guys are obviously on a full buy. Now, your teammates are kind of in mid. One of them is boiler and you have a, a smoke down a balcony. There's obviously two in sight it's not obvious to you because you can't see them but um we can see them on radar so anyway your teammates are kind of in brackets now they're getting ready to come up porch and you're jumping out of balcony and you get free frag your teammates get the trade frag now that you have the information as to where they're at but what i'm trying to get at here is if you would have just waited basically till your teammates were coming up porch and you did that i guarantee you wouldn't have died you would have got the kill um you would have you know not lost any money but the ultimate thing here is the timing and and as a as a counter as a counter strike player anything you do in this game you want to be doing with your teammates you're going to be more successful in every fashion of the game if you simply work with your teammates so you waiting like two or three more seconds to do that like you guys would have just dominated both of those dudes in sight they wouldn't have even been able to shoot back at you guys and you wouldn't have died and that is going to that that same concept can be applied to every situation in every map of you know every version of counter-strike known to man just simply working with your teammates you're gonna have much better success rate so just a it's just a little more of like a concept thing than you know an actual exact mistake that you made so anyway we're gonna jump in the next round here all right so we're here on your guys' ct pistol round and you're in a three-on-one situation so you had a kind of a slow you got ahead of a you had kind of a slow retake or uh, rotate sorry <clears throat> you got yourself into the situation obviously you don't have a kit uh you have armor and um you're in a three-on-one situation this dude peeks you in a second and you're in a two on one so now you have six bullets left you shoot three more here bang 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 and now you're proceeding to go to the site now this is where mistakes are made you have li listen to the bomb timer you still have about 20 seconds at that point and you had more than enough time to fall back and reload and then you knew where both of them were at you knew that that guy was pit and you and the dude shot at you from sight when you killed the other guy so you knew that you knew that they were spread out and basically what you want to do in any kind of clutch situation is to put yourself in as many 1v1 situations as possible so i'm going to zoom over here real quick and just show you what would have made this a little easier so basically once you got that first kill you spotted this dude pit you knew the other dude was sight you just take your time reload a little bit a little bit and then you're basically going to push one of them it's easier to push this dude in sight than it is to push the dude in pit because you have to jump over all this crap and he's he's got all kinds of things to hide behind so you should have just reloaded your gun push this dude in sight 
you know, you have to gamble and take that. You have to take that fight with him in the one-on-one -on -one situation. And then that dude in pit was actually low, but obviously you didn't know that, but it was planted for pit. So you just simply push this guy in pit after that and then try and win the round that way. Running into the site with three bullets, trying to one bullet him and then flick shot one bullet this guy and then defuse the bomb. You're, you're never going to win that kind of situation. So use the time to your advantage. Use your guns to your advantage. Try and get yourself into as many 1v1 situations in, as possible, especially in clutch situations. But that even applies to every version of every situation in Counter-Strike. You never want to be shooting at two guys at the same time. Um, and especially in clutch situations, you want to be eliminating the other players. And they were allowing you to do that by one player being sighted, one player be, being pit. So, um, you know, keep that in mind for your next clutch situation, and we're going to jump in the next round. All right, so we're here on a gun round. One dude lurked into B site. Uh, he kind of pushed your teammate because you were watching construction, and then you traded the frag. You guys are in a four-on-three situation. They're obviously all B here, minus this late guy playing or late guy coming to B, but they are all coming B. And um, the last part of this video obviously talked about putting yourself in 1v1 situations. And I just wanted to highlight that you do a real good job. So you spotted that dude there, but you didn't shoot. So good job on that. But I wanted to highlight that you do get yourself in, you do put yourself into 1v1 situations here. So you fight the first guy there. You saw the second dude and you kind of bait back out and then you bait back out again. And you basically got yourself into three 1v1 situations. And in turn, you were very successful. So that I, I do, I do see that you do know this concept, but it's, it's, it's a little different, you know, retaking the site as it is uh holding the site putting yourself in those situations but it's it's possible and you, if you watch any of these pro players any pro play any pro matches it's just what you have to do to try and win those kind of situations so great job on that round and we're gonna jump into the next round now all right so this is actually the last round of this demo review and you're going to see what happens when so basically one thing that you guys aren't really doing on banana is spotting down banana you guys are just throwing that smoke on site and jumping into site you can do this a little differently. You guys could get the information on banana, then smoke it and fall back. And you delay them even more and you find out if they're actually there. So you guys have thrown both of your smokes now. And they are basically just waiting you guys out. They obviously still have eternity. They still have a minute and, you know, still going to have a minute and five seconds when that smoke goes away. And, um, you know, it's 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 one of the drawbacks to playing pigeoned inside is what we call it. You got our turtled inside. You guys are basically just playing real 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 passive and you guys are basically just going to combat their take so you guys have no smokes you guys obviously have uh, a flash I don't know what he has um, but he gets a kill and then dies and and this is where mistakes are made so obviously we have we have x-ray here and we can see that you're about to get peaked by three people but in any situation where he's the first person to be seen or die at oranges a mistake has been made so oranges is basically the player the second player that's going to initiate or basically going to be taking the fight and the reason that is is because he's on the he's on the right side of sight so if they're the terrorist they're on he's on the left side if you're on the site he's on the right side and basically they have to push all the way to grill to fight him in that position if he plays that correctly if he like you know uses the cover to his advantage they have to push all the way across to close to you by grill to be fighting him but instead you basically gave up spindles and now they were able to three on one him and now they're about to three on one you here so basically you should have been the first point of attack there you should have been the first person shooting and then they shoot at you and then he peeks out and shoots them in the side of the head um so you guys kind of made a small mistake there and then you get pushed by three people and die so basically once he died at that position there you have to know mentally oh shit they are in a position to kill him if he's here if he's here that means they're all the way over here or here at minimum killing him there so that means that they are close enough to you to kill you quickly so at that point you just need to fall back and hold construction and make sure that they don't push ct spawn and make sure they don't push into construction and get 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 control of this area so a few mistakes were made you were not the first point of contact um you weren't you weren't cross firing with him well enough to stop them on that b take and then when he died you took the fight in a three on one that's not going to work out you needed to fall back so that's going to conclude this demo review i hope you learned a lot i hope this is going to help you rank up and you know improve your cs game um in addition to all the rest of the person that code premium so anyway i hope anybody else that's watching this learned something as well again this was casey foster of netcodeguides.com thanks guys